There we are, that should be a bit better. Sorry about that, I'm not sure what happened. What you missed was, quite ironically, me telling you how professional I was being. <laughs> so, um, thank you, uh, Rick, Cameron and Dave, um, for all mentioning it. Uh, yeah, you, all, all you missed was me telling you how professional I was being. No, um, there's a bit of a double whammy. Number one, you folks know that I suck at video games. So that's a given. Number two, this one's nearly 20 years old, and while I've played a lot of it, um, old games have pretty janky controls. Um, so what I'm playing tonight has got a lot of green on the box, being a, uh, uh, an old Xbox game. But it is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Oh, Dave, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much, mate. Um, this game came from a time when you still got video game manuals, and this one is an absolute doozy. It's just a lovely... Uh, obviously, this bit up here is a nice green Xbox logo, um, but it's, a just, it's an absolutely beautiful... It's one of the best game manuals um, that I know of. Um, sorry about the weird lighting there, but I, do, I did want to show you that. There's loads. It's all kind of in character. Um, if I pop that up there... Look at that, it's all, like, it's beautifully made, beautifully made. Um, and I believe it was a LucasArts game, it is. Uh, so hopefully Disney bringing back LucasArts for Indiana Jones. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, I'm, I'm going to head into game. Uh, you will notice when I get here that I'm still on my Xbox home screen and it's because I wanted to share the Xbox boot-up sequence with you folks. I loaded it up earlier and I was like, nah. I'm going to turn it back and we're going to watch the intro together. So here we go. Da. Nostalgia. Um, so it is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Weirdly, Facebook doesn't have that game in the catalogue uh, of things that you can choose. So I've just chosen a random Indiana Jones game. Um, and yeah, we're, we're coming into it. So this is Emperor's Tomb. It's a brilliant game. I used to play it an awful lot. Um, a good friend of mine uh, who kind of had the nickname Indiana um, passed away over 10 years ago now. God love him. Um, but we used to play this together. Uh, well, it's not multiplayer, but take it in turns next death. Um, and it is pretty awesome. It is. It really captured that... Um, kind of Indiana Jones feel and I will love this game forever. Um, I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X. It is compatible. Uh, it doesn't look brilliant. It's very, especially on the little kind of circle icons you see down at the bottom of the screen over there. Um, it doesn't look amazing, but it's an absolute corker. What an absolute legend. The, the theme tune is still amazing. Though. Hopefully the game sounds coming through okay. I'm just going to run that down and check. It seems to be fine. Um, it's amazing. Even little bits like that, like they, they properly went for it. The loading times on this now on the Series X are hmm. insanely good. Map, In fact, that stone head marks the secret entrance. The in-game visuals look really good. For <laughs> it's coming up 20 years old. I'm close now. Like, that's pretty good. Oh, skeleton there. Oh, I wonder if there's anything back here. Let's have a, no, nothing back here. Move the left thumbstick in the direction you want Indy to move. I don't know why I was doing a weird accent there. Walk over obstacles and press B to jump. B is jump is weird. This is, again, it was a time where kind of... Now, if you're playing on Xbox One... Um, and I mean, the, the translation goes over to the X button for PlayStation. But now you think jump, A. If you're going to do a, like a jump in an adventure game, it's A. But this was kind of before the time that everybody had decided what kind of standard controls were going to be. It's cute. Keep an eye out for secret areas. I am. That's exactly why I've come here. I had forgotten about it, but you see a waterfall, you go to the back of the waterfall, am I right? 
see a waterfall, you check it out. Metal. And collect a weird little uh, Mexican wrestler. Fortune and glory, here I come. Idol of Rambo Vihara. Apologies, Rambo. But you did look a bit like a Mexican wrestler. That weirdly left trigger. Left trigger to do a roll. Right trigger to put your dukes up. Run forward and press <gasps> B to do a running jump. I've forgotten all the controls. It has been some time. In fact, I think the last time I played it, I was streaming it. Um, uh, controls. I did warn you. A little bit janky. Uh, symbols in the right corner of the scheme will give clues how Indy can interact with something. Cool. I thought there were bad guys around here. Oop, buddy. I can use so this, this water is to health. fill up my So you canteen. fill up your canteen, um, you use the canteen to get back health, and when you're there you can fill up the canteen and fill your health up at the same time. Which is pretty nice. But uh, this is, it is one of my favourite retro titles to play. Um, I don't think I will ever get bored of it. I just really enjoy the fact that it still works. Try jumping to the area just ahead. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that it still works. It is just an amazing title. Right, I picked up a nearby machete. Uh, that was weird. Weird, shaky thing going on. Bum -ba -bum, bum -ba -bum, bum -ba -bum. Uh, right trigger while walking off. Do a, Oh, you do a little... How do I drop, though? It didn't tell me how I drop. Press B. <gasps> Apparently. Oh. Is it, oh, yeah, that's how we do it. And then up to select. I thought there were bad guys in this area, but I might be wrong. I might be in the need I'll to need the to next area. Use a machete. I think this is how we do it. Is that is that normal? Didn't look <laughs> didn't look too normal, but okay. Good thing I brought my whip. Okay, right. Uh, da -da, equip the whip. Hold A. Whee! See, it's just fun. I love this game. Oh, there we are. I do proper swings. Kind of A is use. Ish. Ish. Those loading times are insanely fast. I have noticed improvement in loading times even on kind of Xbox One games. Um, but this, like, near instant on this. I suppose, admittedly, there's not as much for it to be loading. But still, impressive. Ivory Pretty hunters. impressive. These guys are no Boy Scouts. I better watch my back. Right. Uh, punch with. Yes! Oh, heck. <laughs> Got him. Taken down. You properly kind of, well, not properly, properly, but uh, it was quite good in then to feel like you're brawling. Bum -ba -dum -bum, bum -ba -dum. There he is. Come here, you. Did you press both of them together, was it, to do a grab? Yeah. And they make a really nice little noise and fade away, so, they, so you know they're down. Is that Agent 47? <laughs> no, I don't think it could have been, because between Indian Agent 47, I love Indiana Jones, but I think I know who's winning that one. Oh, I'm going to pick up revolver ammo. As far as I remember, the aiming for revolvers and things on this was quite simple. I think you just target bad guy and... Oh, yeah, you can just pick up random... Kind of pick up random things and use them as weapons. Proper indeed. He's over here. Oh. 
Oh, where? Oh, it's not going brilliant, is it? You don't hit me with a chain. Oh. Come on. Got him. Got him, and then I think. Is it left? Oh no, I've got to equip, equip the canteen and then use it, and then the water will go down, my health will go up, and everything's wonderful ish. And then I can refill the canteen at whatever the next thing is. I like the fact that water brings your health back up. It's like it could be anything, it could be med kits, it could. No, it's water. Just drink well, mate. Stay hydrated, yeah? Bum ba dum bum. I have a feeling I'm going to need the whip. Bum ba dum. I was not wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, nice, easy does it, easy does it. The controls aren't as bad as I remember them being. They're all right. I thought I was going to be falling off ledges an awful lot more than I am. Oh, I could have just taken that out, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll never know now. I was going to say that might look pointless, but uh, I knew that wall was going to, uh, the floor was going to fall down. Right, I do remember this being a bit awkward. It's a bit like Lara Croft's early adventures where you have to, like, get a precise, precise jump, but uh, it wasn't that good <laughs> in terms of actually aiming the precise jump. Okay, I've got my hat. It's all the, all the matters. I've got that. Because you can't lose your hat. You can finish a level without your hat, and it it kind of kills me a little bit inside when you lose your hat. Is this Indy? He loses his hat. Right, we have our canteen. Is it this? Do we need to? Oh, I see. It's one of those awkward orcs jumps. Okay, and now. Oh, up here. <laughs> this is what I remember being awkward. Oh, crikey. Oh, shed seven. Oh, I did it. I did it with, with rather some aplomb, if you don't mind me saying. Keep an eye out for the American. When oh, easy. What are you shooting at me for? Mate, if you keep stabbing me, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm going to make you eat Ouch. that whip. Oh, crikey. I like the fact that a shotgun blast from that range takes off like. Oh, crikey. Jesus. Chimney Christmas. Uh, right. <laughs> Try that again, shall we? I did just use the phrase Jiminy Christmas, didn't I? I, I apologise profusely. Uh, it's a really weird thing to say. I'm sorry that you had to hear it. Oh, heck. Right, um, I seem to remember. Revolver. Quite, yeah, there we are. Right. Quite easy, you just kind of point and click. I can't even remember what indie game I put this under, but it's definitely not Empress Tomb. I'm really kind of annoyed to get my hat back. Hat. Uh, annoyed this that it. Uh... Up the odds. Can I mantle over that? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right, round here. Cool. <coughs> Yeah, a bit annoyed that Facebook doesn't have this, because for me, this is one of the best Indiana Jones games. And there's loads, there's loads of mobile Indiana Jones games that are on there, um, but you can't select Emperor's Tomb. Uh, right, where am I? Is, that, is it making me... Yeah. Whew. I know I can use my, oh, my whip. There we go. 
Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Oh yeah, you gotta jump and then. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum bum bum. Oh. Well, that was a surprise. That was a surprising twist. Uh, I remember there being a little, there we are, a little somewhere I can get out of the water. Put my hat back on. That's the important thing. I am doing better. I don't know if they've changed the controls slightly, because I know when I put it into the new Series X, it said, oh, there's an update available for this that you're probably going to want to get. Um, so obviously I got it. And I'm wondering if they've updated, as well as it seems that they've done some of the visuals. What's the sound? Is it a little archery in the corner? There he is. <laughs> done deal. Shotgun and revolver. Got some ammo. What is it saying? Use the left or R. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think that's exactly working as intended. <laughs> um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, I was going to say, can I go? Can I go back a moment on the stream and look at it? But it's too much faff, and I've already had enough technical difficulties today. Oh, that looks. Invite. Oh. Oh wow, that's that area. Okay, it's a little way back. I'm not going to dive over there just for some uh, some health I think I'll I think I'll survive I don't even know really what the story is at this point I remember there being Nazis involved but nothing equipped grab an enemy uh, grapple yeah they properly, like, really got the ball in there, really well. This is quite good. I whipped him and it disarmed him. <laughs> come on, come on up. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Oh, you got a machete, have you? Oh, oh, he hit me with his machete. That's not very sporting. He's... Oh, heck. Right, I need to have a bit of a drink. He's down, canteen. Drinky drinky poos. Get some health back. Uh, might as well pick up a machete. Why not? Oh, that's why not. That's just a shovel. There's nothing in those boxes. They were entirely pointless. And there's some health over there that I need to try and get to. Could I make that? Just... I heard a little hoobly doo. Can I jump and grab the thin ledge ahead of me? Oh, okay. Bum 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 bum. We'll get there in the end. Hey, I this oh no, get away from me, sir. Down, fade away, 
you not gonna fade away? The other guy faded away. This guy's more uh, James Dean kind of fella. The stone has been weakened here. Burnt out if instead. I could get my hands uh, on some explosives, I could blast away. Oh, crikey! Uh, I'm pretty sure you can still target me. He's down. Put his revolver there because I pick it up. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, Is there somebody else? I don't know if there's somebody shooting at me. Okay, so. No, it's like it's just like that. But the music would say that there's another one. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Why waste bullets? Oh, whack. I suppose that's, that's why waste them, because uh, otherwise you're going to get your bum beaten. But no, not Indiana Jones, I think you'll find me. I always put something in these. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. So hopefully in here we've got some dynamite. I'll try not to blow myself up. Yeah, not blowing myself up is going to be kind of order of the day. And run away! Great explosive uh, animation there. And end of the level. I'll have a wee drink. This is about 19 years old. And I remember a lot of LucasArts games coming out around the same time. Well, around that time. Loads of brilliant ones. Republic Commando. Brilliant game, and I think backwards compatible on here as well, actually. So that might be another one of the uh, retro flashbacks at some point soon. But they are just some brilliant games. Oh, okay, so I wall hug. Then get out my revolver. No, it's not working. There he is. Ah, there we go. All oh, right. L to go to the left of the thing, and I assume R to go to the right of it instead of right. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit confusing, but I've got it. How? Right, listen. He doesn't look happy. There he is. Oh, work. Yeah, reload, mate. Oh no. guy down. Uh, it's remarkably easy. They only take a couple of shots, which is nice. I think I seem to remember the Nazis later on in the game being a, a bit more uh, hard-wearing. Nothing in those boxes. Gutted. Anything up there? No. Anything up here? No. Oh, pistol. I think it just automatically picks up the ammo. Good shadow work as well. Considering it's so old, I don't know what they've done to it to bring it up to date, but they've done it pretty well, I think. Because the controls are quite fluid now. I remember them being a lot, a lot jankier than this. Like, I haven't misjumped once yet. I'm sure it will happen at some point during the stream, but not yet, and usually it's jank city by now. Oh! Oh! Get away with you, mate. Oh, yeah. Knocked out the like the bandit he is. 
not a pixel bandit, obviously. Pixel bandits are lovely people. Going down there? Looks like I don't have much choice now. It's all a bit free. Oh, lever. Was that worth it? Uh, I don't think I've actually got anything or done anything from that area. I'm pretty sure that was mostly pointless. Let's try that again. Well, I've opened up a little doorway, which is nice. I assume there's something... Oh, machete, machete, machete. Pardon me. Walk into walls covered with vines to climb them. There we are. Over that way, boy. Out. Let's get going. I was I thought that was the way to go, but um <laughs> I thought this was a little side quest I'd be going on. Oh, I've made it through that by luck completely. Uh nice. Oh, Right, oh, I haven't got much left. <sighs> left the animations, the little thoughts that they put into things. <sighs> we'll get there. Right, next. Let's put that away. <coughs> oh no, wrong button. That's not how we jump. <laughs> See, I can't even blame the, the, uh, the game controls for that. That was just me pressing the wrong bloody button. B to jump. Then we're going to do a forward roll. With, okay, the darts have stopped darting now. Oh, those darts haven't. Ouch. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Is it auto saving? It's not hugely, no, no huge amount of checkpoints. So we're, we're fair, a fair way back, but we hadn't got. It'll be a bit quicker now that I know where I'm going. What I'm doing. Indy can walk her while the gun is equipped. He can. But I'm just coming right out with it. Pistol whip, Indy. I'm gonna kill you with your own machete. And then that opens up. See, that was a bit quicker. That was a little bit quicker, anyway. Right, where was that? That's there. Ouch! Ouch! See, that move disarms him as well. Collecting some pistol ammo. Uh, weird invisible wall. Just there. I remember when those existed. Right, so that is a doorway which I unlock. Oh, I can't remember which way I went to unlock it now. I unlocked. Ooh. And I. Ooh gonna fill that up 
because it turns out I will need it going forward. <laughs> I think I went somewhere up here. Yas, queen. Here we go. This is the bit where I was saying about how the controls weren't awful. Uh, shortly before. Oh, pressing the wrong button to jump. Bum -ba -dum. Right, we. Oh! I forgot here's the thing. Ow! Going to make we get up. That. Are you still going? Down and down. Can I go over there? I can. I don't know if there's anything over here worth being over here for. Nope, don't think so. I think I think that's There's a little room behind there, but I don't know if I can get to it. Don't know if I'm meant to be able to get to it. Uh, I'm going to open up this little doorway. Machete. And climb, climb, climb me. <laughs> Not quite. Right. I'm going to try and remember roughly where those oh i did i did press jump there you can see it just but i must have mistimed it just by a millisecond okay straight roll and then jump oh made it not at all jammy Okay, here we go. Oof. I will admit the chain whip animation is a bit fast for my liking. It looks a little bit cartoon-esque, but still one of the best indie games. Orcs changing. With it, that the fingers on my hand disappeared. Well, this looks ruddy dangerous. Oh, adventure mode. I forgot this. Uh, oh! Okay. So if I do L, it does two, I think. Two, three, two, one, two. Ah, I got stuck, but it's all right. I'm gonna have a bit of a uh, bit of fresh water, hydrate, <sighs> feel great. This looks like an area that might have some baddies in it. There he is. Okay, so R goes to the right, L goes to the left. Brilliant. Fairly basic, but it's a nice little cover system, and for the time it was brilliant. For the time it was it was pretty darn brilliant actually. The water should come out holes in your body as it does. Yes. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind that. I'd take it definitely. Oh, right. 
Thank you, Offler, the crocodile god. That is definitely Offler, isn't it? Definitely. The god of sausages. Must be a switch or lever nearby that will open this door. I mean, there might be, pal. I wouldn't say that you were wrong. In fact, I think that's probably it. Oh, this looks like the end of an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. There it is. I'm getting my gun back out, though. Oh, supplies. Oi, oh. He's over here. Me some supplies. Are there any supplies? Oh, I got a, oh, a bigger canteen. Excellent. There he is. Ooh. There we are. That little shoulder barge there. Um. Oh, that uh, uh, disarms them. It was either this today, or we started watching The Witcher recently, and I, I'm quite—I was quite tempted to uh, to do a Witcher stream, but I think that might be for the next one. Mind you, I haven't done an Elite Dangerous one in a while, so it might need to be Elite because I haven't streamed it in a while. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with these Thargoids, but uh, it's not happening. Right, I think that's it. Oh no. Oh. Oh, crikey. Phew, that was meant to happen. <laughs> Is that a shark? No, alligators. Brilliant. Uh, but find dry land. B to swim. Dry land. Dry land. Phew. Okay, crocs in the water. Throwing skulls, can trigger traps, disarm enemies. Oh, it's back when we had this kind of throwing, is it? Did that do anything? Oh yeah, I think they're distracted. Oh no, oh no. Phew, right. Uh, distract that away. Hopefully, that's done the trick. Oh gosh. Uh, that was a questionable Australian accent earlier. Quest. Uh, which one? <laughs> My Australian accent's pretty good, actually. I think, anyway. I can do it all right. Bonza! Now, I think the one that you're referring to was some weird kind of strange Sean Connery Scottish-Irish hybrid. Uh, it was awful, that one. I'll give you that. Um, this is a bit... Are you going to be distracted? Or do I have to get it somewhere near you to distract you? That would make sense. I just... I did... I got it... Oh. What are you doing? I'm going to distract enemies. Okay, I'm just going for it. Run! Well, don't run, obviously. Absolutely recognise when you do a terrible Connor impersonation. <laughs> move the way you want Indy to move. It's because it was his dad. We met um, John Reese Davies at Comic Con. We got a lovely, lovely, lovely signed picture uh, from him, uh, which says "To Young Indiana." Uh, your old friend 
bestseller and it's just lovely and he called me the father of indie and it was just a beautiful beautiful experience it was wonderful he said that what because he, he grabbed hold of our micro bandit um, who you may know is Indiana and he was giving him hugs and, and all sorts just such a lovely chap and he said the one thing that he not regrets obviously he's had a, a illustrious career um, but the one thing that he wishes he could have done more of is his family stuff um, but obviously with jetting around the world filming wonderful films he didn't get much chance He's just an absolutely lovely bloke. I'm really glad that you uh, you recognised the awful, awful Sean Connery. Losers whine about their best. Uh, right. This will be... Oh, cool. I don't have to actually swim anyway. Good, because I'm rubbish at that bit. I, I can do... I can do voices. I can do Australian, just about. Uh, I can do British quite well, actually. Uh, which I'm, I'm doing it right now. Um, other, other ones are hard. What is this? I've forgotten all of this. It's been a while since I properly kind of sat down to play it. Are there crocs in the water or something? Are there skulls? Oh, yeah, there's one. <laughs> There she is. This reminds me of that scene from Sword of the Dead, where he's like, there are any, Not exactly any zombies my out? Idea of a hot date. Like, Don't use that. Don't say there's Edward. It's like, oh, all right. Are there any, then? Can't see any. Maybe it's not as bad as all that. Oh, no. There they are. Wasn't that bad as Sean Connery earlier, was it? It's getting better. I don't think anybody can really do Sean Connery that well. Uh... I will admit that mine is probably more terrible than a lot of people's. What? Did I? Oh, I thought I had a lightsaber. I was like, we're, we're in the wrong Lucasfilm here. Drop down. Grab. Oh. Oh, ouch. But he dropped his gun. Pick it up. You can't get it. Can you? Ah, how'd you like that? <laughs> Come on. Right. Now we do this bit. So we do a jump. And another jump. And I assume there's a switch of... Oh, health. Yes. The checkpoints here in this are few and far between. So I'm very glad to see a little uh, health area. Because games didn't used to be as forgiving as they are now. Oh, adventure mode. Adventure mode. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to very spiky lands. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, look at him go. Right, assuming it's just a big old lever pull. Thanks for putting up with my weirdness, by the way, folks. I realise that I'm not entirely normal. Those are very triangular bats. Where'd they go? Uh, am I meant to run and grab that? Uh, Munching glad back? Ah, oh, phew. Right, uh... What did that actually do? Oh, it opened. Did it open her mouth? I don't know. I'm going to go into the water. Oh, am I going to go into the water? Yeah, I am, because that drop is probably going to hurt if I just... Oh, no. I oh, know there's a croc here somewhere. A few. Right, made it. Oh. No matter which way you look at it, when there are crocs in the water, it's still brown trousers time. Right, here we go. Into the serpent's kiss. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum.
What a soundtrack. What a soundtrack. The, um, the Indiana Jones theme tune is beautiful, I love it, but it does make me cry because that tune is what they took my, uh, my pal's coffin out to when he was being buried. Um, and I always remember it quite well uh, when that song when that song plays. So it's kind of bittersweet, but I love it. And I know he loved it. Pull and hold the L trigger to look around or aim in first person. Brilliant. How does that help me now? I think someone just stepped on my grave. Uh, oh! oh! Well, I died. Don't know about you. The loading times, look at that. Right, luckily, we're not too far back. So we'll carry on. Up the ziggurat, lickety split. I don't know what that rumbling is. So I should probably, when it gave me the option, stand here and look up. Oh, it's not what I wanted. But I had a feeling that if I stay here, I'll be, those ropes are just going straight up into the ceiling. <laughs> uh, I'll have to find another way around. Oh, I will have to find another way around. I'm not sure. Oh. That was too close. It was quite close, wasn't it? I don't know who's doing the voice. I don't know if it is. I don't think it would be, would it? It wouldn't be. Um, would they have got him to do it? Don't know. Right, let's... Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. There he is. Oh, no, no, sir. I think you'll find. Oh, I was meant to be disarming, but he. Seems a tough little fella. Or he was until I took a machete to his chest. That'll put a dampener in your day. Don't care who you are. Revolver ammo? Shotgun ammo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right, apparently my battery's running low. I've strategically not put it onto charge because I'm pretty sure that's what keeps um uh, keep screwing up and pausing the stream. Um, all right, I killed him. That's the way that came from. So, right, uh, that's not that, is it? Well, there's nothing there. Oh, do I have to just go down carefully? Cool. Gotcha. Yeah, instant skeleton. Bosh. Uh, probably helped that there was already a skeleton on it before and they were just like, no, just leave it. And people think that it's just a really cool feature instead of... I'm not going to say lazy dev because obviously it works quite well. Oh! Okay, yeah. There's, there's those crocs. So going to gonna go ahead and jump out of the old water there and have a bit of a drinky poo. Some frame drops in a very brief pause or two earlier. Uh, how earlier? Because if it was fairly recent it was probably my laptop going, oh I've got no battery. Okay, shotgun, crocodile, You dead? 
How is it not dead? Stop swimming. Oh goodness, okay, I don't think it's possible to kill them right, but I don't know where I'm meant to be going. I don't think I can get down there. Right, let's uh, give it a go. Okay, I've got an extra piece for my canteen, so I think my canteen's bigger now. Again. A little bit bigger, I think. Uh, I honestly don't know where I'm meant to be going. Don't know where I'm going. I got no for a bin. I am a devil on the run. A six gun lover, a candle in the wind. Shot down by a bunch of bloody crocodiles. 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not sure. That's probably just my internet being weird, to be honest. Or it could be your internet being weird. If I blame it on that, you'll never really know. Okay, there's not anything here. Oh, apart from bloody crocodiles. Whew, that was close. Right, my name isn't Dundee, mate. I'm out of here. See? Good accent. Can I keep going up? I'm a bit lost. I mean, the game's been out for nearly 20 years, so there's going to be a guide somewhere. But I don't really want to... Do I keep... No, that's where I came from. I did the slidey thing. Oh, that one before empties into there. So right, I did the slidey thing. I came here. I got hit. Oh, yeah. There is indeed a ladder going up. Ignore my stupidness, please. Enemies are unaware of Indy. Shooting them in the head with a gun will kill them instantly. Yeah, mate. It's going to do it. Pretty sure they're aware of me now. But it didn't go that badly. We're okay. We're still alive. There's nothing to pick up. I don't think. No. No treasures in here. Nothing that belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum! Uh, oh, find you there. That's where we're going. That is where we're off. Still got my hat, that's the important thing. Oh. Oh, I can't remember how to climb something like you hold the left <gasps> stick. Ah, oh, right thumbstick. Still need to leave a bit to allow me to swing. There we go. Still shaking. Oh, is that health? Yes. Praise be to Offla. He might be a crocodile god, but he's my crocodile god. I started reading Guards, Guards again today. It's part of our me and uh, me and Athena, the wife. We've got a little book club going on. We just finished the monogram murders, and before that, the magpie murders. Magpie murders is ruddy bloody brilliant. But we've just started, restarted on uh, Guards Guards. And I'm loving it. I love a bit of Guards Guards. Ooh, no, I didn't mean to shoot. Are you going to go back up? Or do I have to flick the switch and then quickly... On pick isn't playing us enough for this, man. Okay, flip the switch, quickly run, get up. There we are. I know what I'm doing. Paul's got one of the audiobooks on at night. I, we, we love, well, um, I say we, I used to love an audiobook. Uh, Athena does, like, proper read. Well, maybe not proper reading, but she uses a, a Kindle herself. But she reads like words on page. But I'm always audiobook. You know what what's good for an audiobook? Elite Dangerous. You might want to check it out, Cameron. It's uh it's a, a lesser known guy. 
Um, but yeah, we've got uh, we just finished Monogram Murders, which was okay. It started really strong, but kind of petered out towards the end. Uh, but we've just started Guards Guards, and I forgot how much I like it. I, I like it, I love it, I want more of it. Read by Nigel Planer on Audible, which is alright. What's this? Quick switch. I don't even know like what I'm meant to be doing. All I know that is just finding my way along this place. But apparently we chose up. So we're on the way. <clears throat> right. Um. Oh yeah, this is one of those where ah, who is this elite dangerous person? Sensitive to sound. Oh. Don't make a noise. Don't make a noise at all, no matter how fast. Oh, you run on sand, even if you jump on it. It's fine. And if, if you make grunting noises, not a problem. Uh, just don't tiptoe on the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, don't even tiptoe on the stone. But you can run, jump... Whatever other noises you want. They're only sensitive to ground sound. Apparently. <laughs> Love the shadow as well, just grabbing onto nothing. These were simpler times. Hmm. That bat statue is some sort of trap mechanism. It seems to be triggered by sounds. Maybe I can trick it into shooting at something else. more. Jiminy Cricket. I thought there was another anyway, is there not? Brilliant, it's not. Thank goodness for that. I don't think I could have done with two more of them. Oh! There he is! Oh! Shotgun, do a little roll, shoot you in the chest, and beat you up as in you would have wanted. Got a skull, I'm just going to carry a skull. There's a lot of red up here, it's like Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom, of course, the worst. There he is. <laughs> what a lackluster what a throw. Um, yeah, Temple of Doom, of course, the worst Indiana Jones film. Bar none. Even Kingdom of the Crystal Skull easily beats Temple of Doom on account of it being literally that bad. That's my controversial opinion for you today. Right, I'm going to pick up Lost Skull. I'm glad I picked it up earlier. Oh, apparently I don't really need it anyway, but... <clears throat> right, that looks ominous, doesn't it? Listening to the thingy. Uh, hmm. Okay. Ha, <laughs> unfollows. <laughs> it is, though, isn't it? Temple of Doom's awful. And Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it wasn't Indy's best showing. However, it's just better than Temple of Doom. 
Temple of Doom was horrible. Such there quick it is, loading times. The heart of Guruatu. Hmm. Yep, the heart of that person. Oh, would you Adam and Eve it? Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. A if massive crocodile that and that way, thing seals this itself. Be a in real there. short swim. Okay, right. Can we make it onto there? We can make it onto there. Right, I think I distracted it. Oh gosh! There must be a way to get that thing open. Right. Very carefully round. I seem to remember something about going in there. I'm just going to check for a group which Facebook for the Christmas was about the Temple of Doom. Is that hate speech? I'm not sure. It is though. Like, definitely true. Oh, I get really creeped out with bits like this where I'm like, is it right behind me? Is it right behind me? Is it following me in? It wasn't right. Behind me. We're okay. This Temple of Doom's just absolutely rubbish. It's horrible. I think the the best. The best Indiana Jones films. Last Crusade, definitely number one. I don't I don't think anybody can argue about that. Last Crusade's number one. And then Raiders of the Lost Ark is number two. I've sealed myself in. Well, in some ways, brilliant, because that thing can't get me now. In other ways, I'm not sure what I've done. Oh, up here. Uh, so yeah, um, Uh, sadly, there's no Them's Fighting Lads report option. There should be. There definitely should be. Um, oh, yeah, just throw, throw a skull in. Just throw a skull. Last Crusade, number one. Number two is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Number three is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And it's, it's not because Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is particularly good. It's only because... Temple of Doom is so unbelievably bad. I do, I swear that they've, up, they must have upgraded the controls or something for this. Because I, I remember this, I distinctly remember this being a lot more awkward. So yeah, those are my four indie movies in order. I'm really, really excited about the new game. It's a bit cheesy. It's not just cheesy, it's just... It's just bad. It's a bad film. Like, it's the only Indiana Jones film that I just won't watch. Like, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it won't be my first choice to put on. Obviously, Raiders will, as we've just uh, established. But the only one I will actively avoid. Like, if somebody put Crystal Skull on, I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll watch it. But I think I'd up and leave. If a friend put on Temple of Doom, I'd just say, look, mate, what are you doing? Sort your act out. Get your life sorted. Let's watch Interstellar. As I put on Twitter the other day, Interstellar... Well, you know, I said that, and I, th I do think still I'll stand by it. However, there are a lot of strong contenders, so I can't just say that Interstellar is the best film without mentioning things like Jurassic Park and um, Back to the Future. What an amazing film trilogy Back to the Future was. And there are, there are loads. I know a lot of people would might say like the godfather but that's never really floated my boat i'm not huge into gangstery films like shed seven <coughs> shed seven don't do gangstery films do they they don't do them all. oh down in one 
down I go. So yeah, we've been watching um, those there loading times. We've been watching the Witcher Whoa. TV series. Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. It. And the Mandalorian. If I don't get that monster out of the way, this is going to be a real short swim. And we're loving both of them at the moment. Okay, yeah, you just you go after that, and I'm going to swim over this way and hope and pray that you're not following me. Oh, I hate it. Oh no, it is following me. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I wonder. Can I? Oh no. I don't quite have enough. I was going to see maybe if I could kind of get it and trap it in here. It's stuck down the bottom there. I think it's a bit stuck. I think, I think it's like if you look just where Indy's arm is, I think it's stuck there a bit. Right. Okay. I mean, I can live with that. But I did want to see if I could get it trapped in here. Because it would make life a lot easier. But if it's just trapped in a glitch, then I'll take it. Whatever. Whatever. It looks like it's got itself unstuck. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's got itself unstuck. Oh no! Right, give it a moment to swim away a bit. It's not swimming away, is it? It's just indigestion. <laughs> oh, I genuinely appreciate that one. I love that. All right, come on. Right, you stay in. Stay in here. Stay in here. I've got to try and get across and over. I don't think I'm ever going to do it in time. Come on, I'm hoping I made enough noise, enough splashy ruining. Mm. Oh, there are skulls there. There are, there are skulls. Brilliant. Not crystal ones. That was awful. That was just like an awful throw. Close. You gonna come over? Hello. Okay. Hopefully, tempt it over. Then get on up here and get straight over. Grab a skull. Can't swim with skulls, apparently. Throw it in there. And then, hopefully, did I do it? Did I make it? Did I get it? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> right, trapped it. Solid performance by Indiana Jones. Now this bit is much easier, or should be, I hope, anyway. Like Aiden can tell yourself with who the skulls belong to, and they took the time to arrange them in various places. Oh yeah, I suppose they're quite ritualistic, aren't they? 
I'm sure they wouldn't mind. They'd be like, solid adventurer, that Indiana Jones fella. Knows what he's about. I don't mind him using my skull to uh, distract a large alligator. That'd be a crocodile, actually, wouldn't it? Alligators have got quite short snouts. I don't think there's a term for a giant alligator, apart from giant alligator, I suppose. I know, obviously, we're sharks. We've got Megalodon. That was a huge shark. But it's got a specific name. It's not just Big Shark. I'm amazed that his hat's managed to stay on. Oh, I can hear an Athena. I can hear an Athena coming in behind me. Got a good head on his soft. <laughs> oh, you are killing it with these dad puns. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. They are not getting old. Much like the people those skulls belong to. Do, do, do. Right, I think this is about where we got to before we very unceremoniously got eaten. Um, if it was ceremoniously, there'd be a lot more chanting and hoods. And climb up the massive chain. Why are there these massive chains just hanging from the ceiling? You might think, well, Pendragon, what do you expect all those cages were held up with? But they're not. The cages are held up with ropes, which appear to just go into the stone ceiling. They don't, but they're ropes, not chains. And they just, there's no, uh, there's no kind of attaching mechanism. They just go straight onto there. Right. I'm gonna hold R. Oh, come on. Yes. Squeaky bum time. Look at that. Oh, does the thing break out now? I don't think so. Maybe it doesn't. That really scared me, that shadow pen. I had a feeling that the big crocodile thing broke out of the enclosure. But I have been wrong before. Grab. No weird sandbags. Maybe I should have bought a sandbag. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Yeah. Skulls. And... Oh, I need my machete. I need to cut through with a machete, apparently. He's in there. He's swimming. He's not happy. Alligator thing. Brilliant. For some reason... Alligator trap was open. It's a beautiful day for swim, is it not? I would join you, but I think almost I certainly that guy's a Nazi. No problem. I can lend you mine. It's back at the hotel. <laughs> the famous American sense of humor. I never really understood it. Look, Hans or Klaus or whatever, not that whatever much. your name is. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever it is, I'm sure we can cut a deal. Very well. Here is the deal. You will give me the idol. Now. Okay, okay, you've made your point. I've got what you want right here. Oh, thank you. Kill him! <laughs> oh, the animations. Just beautiful. <laughs> Just idly tossing the idle hand <laughs> idly. Oh, look at this though for a cutscene. How indie is that? We're back in New York.
Excuse me. The exhibit hall is upstairs. We are not tourists, Dr. Jones. I am Marshal Kai Di Chang of the Chinese Republic. This is my assistant, Mei Ying. So, oh, what can I do for you? Lost an appropriate ending. You sure this is Jones, boss? A good name. You don't want to give his wife a bad name. A product of his era. Not long ago, he was very popular. No matter how many people you have, you can create. Only you can make the best of it. Do you have anything to say? What do you know about Qin Shi Huang Ti? The first emperor of China. He built the Great Wall and established a dynastic government that lasted for centuries. His reign lasted from 255 BC to... That information can be found in a school book, Dr. Jones. My interests concern the stories surrounding the Empress Tomb. As you are undoubtedly aware, Empress Qin is buried under Mount Li in the city of Xi'an. So that was just a weird prologue, not really anything to do with the story of the Emperor's Tomb, which... Yes, that's about all anybody really knows for sure. What's that now? According to the legends, Qin's tomb is an immense underground city filled with unimaginable riches, which took thousands of workers several years to build. After its completion, all those involved with the construction of the tomb were sealed inside. At least that's what the stories say. Due to Chinese superstition, nobody really knows for sure. Yes. The Chinese people have always held that excavation and desecration of the tomb are one and the same. As a consequence, no one has ever been allowed to explore it. Until now. Why are you coming to me with this? Chinese history isn't exactly my specialty. It's your non-academic one thing I really did like me. about this is that it's of the heart of the dragon. not like the, the Matrix did when the Matrix did. It's a mythological artifact well, mind you, the past of Neo was a brilliant game, but Grail. it's ah. just a completely unlike those new flights of Indiana Jones Western story. Fantasy. It's no fatted about trying the dragon to is rehash real. bits of one a or the other. Black pearl that was buried with really the Emperor. bad hand animation. It said that the heart um, possesses the power to control But yeah, there's no the rehashing or anything like that. It's just... Look. I know you traveled a long New way story. to see me, but I'm an Indigo's archaeologist, not a mystic. Beats up nasty people it's a good in those places. Looking for an archaeologist. Loot treasure. Oh, superstitious folk tales aside, the heart is a priceless treasure of the Chinese people, one that must never fall into the wrong hands. That is why China wants you to find it. Okay, let's say I'm interested. It'll China. take months of meticulous excavation to find the entrance to Chin's crypt. She just did. I wouldn't even just, know where to begin. Just picking up random on artifacts contrary, on his Dr. desk. Jones, you've already begun. Hey! He said that without moving his lips. <clears throat> what the heck is that? It is one third of the mirror of dreams. The mirror is the key to finding the crypt's also, entrance within one, the tomb. Also, number one, he's gliding you over the floor. You do not realize the, the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, two, I'm Doctor. I'm pretty sure that is bigger than the speak, thing that it was in. Others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. If they get the mirror, nothing will stop them from entering the crypt, stealing the heart, and using its power to enslave the world. Uh, my apologies, Professor. My assistant is cursed with a vivid imagination. And an I'm pretty sure she's probably not wrong, though. Reminds I'm pretty sure they will curse day. the world. In so what are you guys playing back in, British like, 2001? Is allowed me to take possession of this artifact on China's behalf. We want you to recover the final two pieces of the mirror, enter Chin's crypt, uh, and recover the heart of the dragon. You'll become the most famous archaeologist in history. more approaching 18 years old than it is, um... The chance to become the first 20, man in the Empire's tomb. It's old enough. Tomb. It's old enough to drink. When will be soon. I've already booked you a flight to Prague. It leaves tomorrow morning. Amazing title. 11 plus, apparently. This contains everything you need to know. And also, I love the fact that flight. it's very green, and it's just be fading out into nothing. Jones. The path to the dragon's heart. So what are you folks playing back? Uh, that you can imagine. It always is. Back. Sweet. I'm not. No, I'm not going to say. I'm not. I'm genuinely not going to say back in the day. Don't worry. Um, back in 2003 or around that era, original Xbox era. What were you? What was like your main game? I've still got a few of them. I loved Still Life. Still Life was brilliant. I loved Jaeger. Um, those two aren't compatible, sadly. Oh, this is some weird German schloss. Looks like the old castle isn't abandoned after all. As indeed, just over there. Um, I can't afford any trouble Republic Commando one. and the the um, game release for. You back? Are you gonna go mad when you see me? Yeah, you are. Oh, crikey! Oh. 
kicked him right in the nudges. Aha, missed both his legs. You down? Stay down, pal. Where did your gun go? Looked fancy. Silenced. A luger. Let's, uh, let's get some of that. By the way, pure random curiosity. Don't mind if you don't want to get into it. I was wondering why you're doing Facebook stream rather than Twitch. Um, I just found that interaction was better. There was more chat going on. Um, and that, that is literally it, really. I know Twitch is uh, very popular. Um, and I've never been anything if, if not unpopular. But, um, you know, I'm not uh, streaming and, and all that to make money or anything like that. I just really love video games. I want to share my love of video games with other people. Ooh, crikey. Did that kill him? No. Um, and so because of that, it is all about interaction with me, really. Um, and just showing it, I, I find that it's easier when I'm on Facebook. I follow Facebook gaming streams a lot easier than having to go over to apps and things like that. And I don't just browse through those um, as I do with Facebook. So there's a few, um, few different bits and pieces that kind of added together. But I did try uh, Twitch. Got a Twitch account, which is twitch.tv forward slash pixel bandits. Um, I did have a Mixer account. I really, Damn, really I enjoyed the Mixer. Um, I thought... He's not getting up, is he? Um, I thought Mixer was a really nice platform and I loved the Xbox integration it had uh, for, for different <laughs> games. Like there was... You have your um, papers. Nein, nein, not intimidating enough. <clears throat> oh. Show me your papers now, please. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, buddy. You can you hit me? Um. But yeah, that was uh, that was about it, really. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, mix it because games like um, there's a game called Deep Rock Galactic, which is a, a brilliantly fun little game. Uh, about mining with dwarves. Um, oh, I might have to do a stream on that soon. I have to go try and get a party together or something. Um, but yeah, so and using the features on there, kind of using things that they come up, not quite currency, but almost. Um, folks could then I'm gonna try. Oh, thank goodness. Um, either help or hinder players so uh, within Deep Rock Galactic there were loads of uh, enemies that would spawn and you'd have kind of waves of enemies as you were mining so viewers could either send more enemies of certain types and if they spent more of the currency like free to earn currency but you can pay for it as well uh, the free to earn currency if you spend more of it you can get bigger bugs to come and so we you could get people like attacking me in the stream um it was all very good natured and good fun but you could also do uh stuff like you know throwing down health packs and things like that for players or uh, ammo packs and things um so i really really liked what mixer did with interaction the kind of game interaction there oh come on that's a um, but yeah, I just found that people chatted more on Facebook, um, and it's really easy to use through, I use Streamlabs OBS down on the laptop, um, just it's really easy open. to use that, uh, with Facebook, Maybe so, when I'm done here, her my girl girl give me that quite easy to use Twitch, I'm gonna pick up your gun, mate. Oosh. Ouch, Kabibble. You just knocked my hat off there. Oh, crikey. Yeah, keep him in the nudges. It's my hat. I'm not losing my hat. So yeah, that's the, the brief story about why I stream on 
Facebook. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just interaction at the end of the day. And chats. Which is exactly what I want to get out of it. Oh, wreck. Squeaky bum time, no matter which way you look at it. I'm going to get some health back. Don't know anything about the street inside either. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's fairly easy, kind of... It's, oh, I suppose it's one of those things, um, like everything, which is easy when you know how. Uh, oh, only the penitent man shall pass, is it? <laughs> oh. oh, I got a bit cocky with that. Um, didn't realise they extended out quite so far. Mm, not much health. Not much health left. I should have kept that teaching job. Well, isn't that a to do? So, okay, just gonna kind of hope for the best. Uh, I was gonna say that looks very much like a switch. All oh, right, so I need to go up and push that switch that I was right next to a few moments ago, but I'm no longer right next to. I suppose it should be, should be quite, yeah, quite easy to get back. Oh, no, not with the canteen. Silly, Henry. <laughs> what is this opening up? Oh, oh, eh. Come on, come on back down. Oh. Right, one Luger, two Lugers. Uh, where did they come from? It's down here. Down here, this is the door that I just opened. Excellent. Crikey. Well, got to be honest, I don't like that much, but... Oh, do I have to... Don't like this. That's not going to work. Right, that's locked, is it? Right. Don't like that at all. I'm a bit lost now. I thought I could turn to the side. Maybe that's just on ropes. Oh, I see. I see where I'm going. At least I thought I did anyway. Uh, oh! Didn't do so well there. Did not do so well at all. I thought it was just going to be a quick scoot around, uh, but I was, unfortunately, sorely mistaken. Where am I? 
I'm back here. Oh no! Door's not even open. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I can't remember how we did this. Do we go down? Not too much more of this, I hope. Yeah, we went down here and Just we kept going. Just keep your eyes open. Oh wow, this is quite a while back. Maybe when I'm done here, Herr Göring will give me that riding crop. Literally no point to that room. <laughs> oh! Ah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Did okay. Did okay there. Okay, we made it through uh, through those fairly quick. See, once you know where you're going, it's uh, it's an awful lot faster. Let's fill up the canteen. I've only got a tiny canteen again. I thought we kept it. Apparently not. Use the guns more. Come on. There you go. Uh, da -dum -da. Damn it. There we go. Luger, Luger, Freddy Krueger. Right, how did I die? I can't remember what happened. Did I get this far? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Right, well, I've got a... I don't have a choice in this bit. See, I thought... See, I can do it here. Uh, okay, that'll do. Well, that's not how I meant to do it exactly, but um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Can I not go around? That's not going to work. Okay, that's not going to work. See, I need to get over there. That's just a big old hole. Can I turn? Can't turn. Can't go up or down. I think after an hour and a half of streaming tonight, I might, uh, I might leave it there. Um, I would like to show you again the lovely, 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 lovely box. The best thing about the box is that when you open it up, it's invisible. <laughs> oh, it's just because of how green it is. It's quite good. Yeah. Hey there. 
far too much fun. Far too much fun with the green screen. Um, let's angle it away. So yeah, apologies for the green screeniness, but that's the back of the box. Uh, so what we've got here, explore levels across the globe from Ceylon and Istanbul to Hong Kong and beyond. Shotguns, submachine guns, improvised weapons, and of course the Indy's trusty whip and pistol. Uh, fierce fighting action, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is the the hand-to-hand -hand combat actually genuinely holds up um, really quite well, and the original storyline as well. Uh, where did I put the lovely, 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 lovely? Oh, they just they smell good as well. There's so much just like little bits and pieces in there. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if it'll tell me who voices. Oh, here we are. Voices recorded at uh, Collective LucasArts voice credits. Indy is played by David Esch. I don't know who you are, David Esch, but you did a very good, very good Indiana Jones, and I very much appreciate it. I am going to take this, I'm going to practice a bit more, and we're going to get some more retro game streams coming soon for you. Um, I'm going to call it a night there, because as ever, it's getting a bit late, and it is time to go to bed. Um, thank you for everybody who's come, stayed, chatted, um, and yeah, whatever you do, do it slowly and enjoy it. I'm going to go and strike this green screen set down uh, and get off to bed, I think. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and keep your eyes out for reviews, streams, usual memes coming very, very soon. See you soon, bandits.